Hello and welcome to Story Dude, the hottest channel on YouTube, where a team of expert story pickers have scoured Reddit and found the best stories for you. My 32F husband, 36M, wants me to postpone my education for at least 12 months. Here's the situation. I am in nursing school, LPN. This next year coming up I have three clinicals, they are like practicums. Each clinical is four weeks and requires me to travel to another city one hour 45 minutes away. I obviously can't drive to the city every day as I still have to study, it would be way too much. My parents live just outside the city and said I could stay with them free of charge. This would save me a ton on hotel expenses. I tried getting clinical placements closer to where I live, but the school doesn't have any available. This is literally my only option. I tried transferring to a closer school as a second year student, but not all my courses transfer and some of the courses I need are already full, which would delay me a minimum of 12 months. My husband agreed to me going to school, he was 100% on board. Now that I am actually doing it though he has not been supportive. I am working half time, 20-24 hours per week. I do all the cooking, cleaning, laundry, all the childcare including extracurricular activities, the majority of the yard work, and all the bills and financials. He literally comes home from work and puts his feet up until bedtime. He does nothing on his days off. If I ask him to help he gets angry as he is exhausted and needs to rest, anyways. Once he realized I would be gone for 13 weeks during the school year, three clinicals plus one week of labs, he freaked out. He has a history of not liking me to go anywhere without him, even places like my parents' house, the grocery store, or for a walk. He told me that we will just move to the city and he will transfer his job so I don't have to be away. The problem with this plan is that he is not eligible to transfer for at least another six months, and I would have to quit my job to move. My first clinical starts in six weeks. Plus, I don't think we can afford the higher cost of living in the city. We started looking at places to live and literally there is nothing within our price range, he can't transfer anyways. Now he is saying we will wait to see which side of the city I am placed on and then try to move closer, but if it's not doable I will just have to postpone finishing my education until we can move to the city. He is adamant that that is the plan and if I try to talk about it he gets mad that I'm picking a fight. The only hiccup in me going to the city to my parents' house is the kids, 11 female, 8 female. My husband is on call 24-7 and we have no family they could stay with so they would have to come with me to stay at my parents' house. Our school has all their assignments uploaded onto Google Drive, so the girls would be able to do their schoolwork from my parents' house, my mom said she would help them. Obviously this is not ideal, but in my mind, it is temporary. It is one school year of their whole life, and me having a higher income would improve their quality of life significantly. I'm not sure what to do. I already feel like I'm doing this with no support and now he is making this so difficult. He is currently gone for work training for four weeks and I'm not freaking out about it. Why can't I go away for four weeks? Part of me just wants to leave, but I don't know if I want to do that to the kids. Anyways, any advice is appreciated. He is going to come up with other excuses later. You are not going to be able to do it in 12 months because the same reasons are going to exist. Just go. Dot. He has a history of not liking me to go anywhere without him, even places like my parents' house, the grocery store, or for a walk. This is not normal and very controlling. He doesn't want you to go because he wants to keep controlling you. Your kids are going to be fine with your parents. Kids adapt fast. I need help, she lied about her age. Hello. I recently found out that the girl I have been dating for two months is 16 years of age and not what she claimed, 18. By the way, I'm 19 years old and the problem that stresses me a lot is that we dated online a lot, where she kept sending me nudes and my dumbass decided to send them back because the whole thing felt one-sided and got pressured a lot. What can I do? Is this illegal? Why would anyone lie like this? I have trouble sleeping now too. Also I don't know if it's completely true but she is turning 17 in few days. Please give me any type of advice to fix this problem if there is any. Thank you. You can look up if it is legal in your country. What I would do if it bothers you too much is tell them that you don't want to have contact with her because you thought she was 18 and you don't want to be convicted of something in which you had no intention of doing. This can also be seen as catfishing what she did. You make contact one more time to say goodbye, tell her exactly why, and be gone. Name. I was under the genuine impression you were already 18. Finding out just now you're about to turn 17 is problematic. 
Please respectfully understand that we will not continue forward in our romantic direction, which includes no longer communicating privately. I need time and space to quickly navigate away from the emotions I've built for you, and will be unable to talk with you further without a mutual adult present as I respect your true age, wellness and safety. My 27F, BF24 is breaking up with me over not being in constant contact with him. Dot. We have been together 1.5 year. We have our good and bad moments. The bad moments are usually started with fights from his side accusing me that I give him little time. We usually meet five times week. Most of the time, we spend more than four six hours together and sometimes with sleepover. Sometimes we spend less, like a one hour walk. He still finds that barely enough. We also text each other every three or four hours. We text for about 30 minutes each time. I sometimes am very tired, or exhausted from work, or not in the mood to fire up a conversation. I of course chat with him, but I am more to the point or very concise or not that, always happy mood, and I will also try not to drag a conversation. I also will not send him first without any specific reason, like we usually do. This happens around 1-2 per month. Every time this happens, he feels that I am, abandoning him, that, I am getting cold, and, I distance myself from him. Which of course are not my intentions and I have explained that to him extensively, which he insists that this is intolerable for him. He told me that for him to feel in a relationship, if we don't meet up every single day, at least we have to chat every three or four hours every day. He feels very, very bad and can't tolerate if we do not chat so frequently. He feels that the relationship is being destroyed and feels me distant. He feels that he cannot function and obsesses over why I act like that. I, on the other hand, consider that you do not have to be having a constant contact with your significant other and that doesn't deteriorate the relationship. Let alone firing up a chat every 3-4 hours. I don't think it should be a problem if we chat 2-3 times per day or less. And to be honest, I feel suffocated, anxious that I have to contact him, and that nothing is left for me. He told me, that if I can't, fix that, we cannot continue this relationship. So this leaves me with feeling like an obligation to either be together every day or chat every few hours or else. Also, I feel that, my time, is nowhere to be found in a relationship like that. Any suggestions how to navigate that? You don't navigate it. You guys have some pretty fundamental compatibility issues. Let him find someone who can be up his ass. And you can find someone who doesn't want to smother you. It's not a big deal. Sometimes things don't work out. It's possibly because he is young. But life gets in the way sometimes. We have work and other obligations which do not allow us to constantly talk. He will learn one day. Or maybe he won't. Either way, he is not the right person for you at this point in life. Move on. And to be honest, I feel suffocated, anxious that I have to contact him, and that nothing is left for me. So where's his understanding about your feelings and communication preferences? In my opinion if someone shows this little respect for your time and feelings, they don't deserve to be your partner. NGL he's also coming off as very manipulative and a bit controlling. Boyfriend of 7 years won't marry me unless I make more dollar. A little background. Met in college when we were 20, got pregnant at 21, and now we're 27. We had no money in the beginning so I took my senior year of college off so my boyfriend could finish school and I stayed home with baby, and worked a part-time job. Once he graduated, I took night classes and watched baby during the day and worked every chance I could, even bringing my kid with me. We both worked hard and helped each other to make our family successful. From the beginning, it was made clear that I needed to pay for my own bills, things I wanted. The stay-at-home mom was never an option. That's fine, it's not for me anyways. My boyfriend got a job in tech sales a few years ago and started making good dollar. Today he's making 500k plus and will only make more as time goes on. I'm obviously happy for him. He bought a house last year for us and didn't put it in my name. I told him I refused to help him pay down his mortgage and be a renter in his home. If he doesn't see the value I provide and doesn't want me to live with him, then I didn't have to move in. He's always been really resentful of me not helping enough with bills and that I live here, for free. His money is his money and if I ever need something I have to ask and he hates giving me money. He says I'm not a child and shouldn't be given an allowance. I am in marketing and make about $25 an hour. I know it's not a lot, but I've only been in marketing one year and know that I will move on up in my career too. I contribute to the family with 90% of my salary, 
groceries, my own bills, our gym memberships, my son's sports activities, his clothes etc. After all of that, there's not a ton of money left over. I needed $600 for new tires the other day and he got mad at me for asking to borrow $200 and told me to use my credit card or get a better paying job. My brother lent me the money instead. I truly hate asking him for dollar and rarely do. So this is where I really would love some advice, input. My boyfriend says he won't marry me unless I get a better paying job. He doesn't think we have the same mindset of, make as much money now so we can retire early. He feels like he needs to protect his money and assets from me in case we get a divorce, because he makes significantly more money than I do. I see where he's coming from, but I want someone to marry me because they love me. We both literally started from the bottom and I'm the mother of his child. It just sucks. Sorry for the long post it's hard to sum up 7 years cold sweat smile. He just sounds so selfish. You took your senior year of college off to take care of the baby full time so he could finish school, but then you took night classes while also caring for the baby full time so it wouldn't impact him. You're just starting out in your career and it sounds like he's not being supportive at all. Every sacrifice you made for him has worth. If he can't see that I'm afraid your contribution will never be good enough according to him. You're already putting 90% of your money towards the both of you. Is he putting 90% back? Nope, he's keeping it for his retirement. You need to decide if you're okay with being the only person in the relationship to ever make sacrifices because it doesn't seem like he's willing to compromise at all.